At first there's lots of problems with having a, a corset that needs to um, do cartwheels or something because you got to figure out the boning and the um, the length of things because if your side ribs are cramped some, you're prone to panic attacks because you can't breathe and then human beings don't like that feeling. No animal likes that feeling of not being able to breathe. So I do remember um, having to go, oh my god, somebody, unt <laughs> somebody untie me. Um, but they figured that, they figured out how to do that. And at first I do remember being quite embarrassed walking around in quite such a short skirt. And we would wear these big long underpants underneath. <laughs> And eventually the producers went, you know what, that looks stupid. Can you just put on regular underpants, please? <laughs> and they'd put frills and stuff and make them look um, sort of metallic or, you know. Did it help you get into character, the costume? Characters, um, you know, when I put on any costume, it makes the character appear. And hair. Like in Spartacus, if when they put those those corsets on with all that beautiful draping you walk, walk a certain way and yeah the character emerges or if they put me in something frumpy like on um, Flight of the Concords I just become there you know she's a little mouse so I find uh, the collaboration with the uh, costume and makeup people really uh, really useful because they'll, t they'll help me go somewhere I would never go on my own they wanted an American accent and there were some, um, that just takes a little bit of practice because you've got to get your mouth up and over the, the sounds um, in, a, in a way that you never use in your own life. But uh, the voice, I remember trying. Sometimes I'd be like, okay, she's big, she's strong, I'm going to lower my voice, I'm talking down here. and. Um, you can't live, you know, you can't live like that. So I try to rem remind myself that it's okay to be tough if you're talking up here because that's where your voice sits. So, But you can't sound like a chipmunk either, I suppose.